So you've got your pre-approval and you're ready to start looking for a home. Great. Wondering where to start? You're not alone. Meet Katie. Katie has just gotten pre-approved. However, she has no idea where to start. So what could she do? A great first step is to jump online and sign up to a number of real estate websites. These websites will alert Katie when properties in the area she likes comes onto the market. Katie keeps an eye out for properties that have been passed in at auction, that have been on the market for more than six weeks, or where the price is being discounted. This shows that there is little competition and she may be able to get a bargain. So now that Katie is armed with all this knowledge, it's time to go out to lots of inspections and auctions. The key is to get to know what's out there and know your local market. So what happens when you find that property, your dream property? So can you buy it yet? Whoa, hold on. Your bank may not accept the property. As a general rule, if your property has anything unusual about it, you may get declined. This can include properties that are less than 50 meters squared, are in a high rise building over four stories, are in a remote area, or that are more than two hectares in size. You should always double check with your mortgage broker before you jump in and pay a deposit. So what next? Well, now it's time to make an offer on the property. Luckily, Katie's mortgage broker, the home loan experts, has given her a list of properties that have sold nearby. She has compared these properties to her property so she knows its value. Katie is one smart cookie. She even waited outside the last open for inspection to see how many people went through. This tells her if she has much competition. Because there's a lot of competition, Katie makes an offer close to the asking price. The vendor accepts her offer with a two week calling off period. And now it's time for Katie to do her final checks. Her mortgage broker organizes the property to be valued and her loan to be formally approved. Her conveyancer checks the contract of sale. And lastly, Katie does a building and pest inspection just to make sure she doesn't have any unexpected tenants. Katie's now happy to proceed. She pays her deposit to the agent and locks in her purchase. Four to six weeks later, the house is hers. Well done, Katie. Wondering what lender's mortgage insurance is? We walk you through how LMI works and how you can get the lowest LMI premium for your home loan. But first, meet Will. Will is looking to buy a new home for his family. He has just found his dream home and he has gone to the bank for a mortgage. As he applies for the loan,